What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Recording. I thought this would be an interesting topic, uh, as well as a, a spicy thumbnail. Uh, we often talk about on this channel, you know, I've been very upfront. Um, I was raised um, Lutheran. Uh, I'm not particularly religious and or as or like uh, what you would define as practicing. But uh, I'm probably what you might call agnostic. Um, but I do know, I, I respect my viewers' religions and um, their choices. And I also know that there is a, a double standard that exists in modern uh, entertainment and, and press and that you can mock Christianity all you want uh, with zero repercussions. But if you mock any other religions, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal. And apparently some like washed up uh, influencer named Addison Ray had uh, decided to wear a bikini that uh, had father son on each you know uh top and then on the bottom piece it said holy ghost uh and she received massive backlash and i thought well wow, that's actually odd i was surprised uh, given just how you know the mainstream media and everything is totally fine with dunking on christianity now, am I personally offended by the bikini? No, uh, I, I'm more offended that I'm even covering this topic, but it is an interesting conversation uh, uh, in the fact that they're selling this. It's not, not that you're wearing it, but that you're selling it for $100 uh, and it's made by Adidas. Um, so TikTok star artist Ray deletes blasphemous Holy Trinity bikini photo after backlash. backlash. Would she do with Islam or Buddhism? Well, we know that that is just, of course she wouldn't. Um, TikTok star Addison Ray on Tuesday was hit with backlash for posing in a blasphemous bikini that was Holy Trinity themed. The father on her bob, son on the other bob, and Holy Spirit on the bottom. She repeated, reportedly wore the Adidas collaboration swimsuit, praying, uh, praying's Holy Trinity bikini in white priced at $100. The Instagram post showing off the snap has now been deleted. Uh, you know, by the way, this is like just reeks of desperation. Um, I could tell you that uh, there's only one day left on the uh, stimulus package. You may be stimulated right now thinking about that bikini, but promo code STIMMY, S-T-I-M-M-Y, saves you 10% on any order on coffeebrandcoffee.com. That is hard ending tomorrow. Like, I'm not extending a 10% off discount that, you know, that's, uh, that's the deepest we've ever done. And I don't think I'll ever go that deep again. Um, we've got five delicious coffees. We even have a decaf. We have three delicious hot cocos. We have cold brew bags, which are almost impossible to keep stocked. We keep selling them. We have about 17 spots left in our roaster's choice program that we opened to 500 customers and only two people didn't renew it last month. So I was able to add a few more spots. So if you wanted to get into the the premium roasters choice, you can use it there. We have our we have six organic teas, whether it's oolong, masala chai, earl grey, breakfast tea, chamomile tea. Um, we have it all, and uh, it all goes to supporting the channel. Bikini blunder. Addis Ray blasted for a blasphemous bikini depicting Father Son and Holy Spirit on her nether regions. Do you consider it to be edgy humor, or is Addison going to be struck down with lightning for this? Um, Ray, whose full name, I don't care. Nah, this is disrespectful to Jesus. Sad what you all do for money. One comment reportedly said with another adding user adding so messed up. This is not okay. This is blasphemy. Someone wrote, is nobody going to talk about disrespecting religions? Another user added. It's actually interesting. Um, you know, because you wouldn't normally see, I'm actually shocked that there was any backlash at all. Turning Point USA show Poplitics posted the photo too, asking their asking them their viewers to comment. People saying, would she do this if it was Islam or Buddhism? Former White House photographer Andrea Hanks commented, any other faith and this would be an issue. Tacky. Wow, oh, tacky. Do people say still say tacky? The social media influencer took heat last year, but for a far different reason that He's all that actress also for daring to say hello to president Donald Trump at a UFC fight. I mean, I don't support Trump. Ray said, um, 
And if someone does, that's their opinion. And I respect everyone's opinion. She doesn't have an opinion. She's a vapid social media influencer. But it's very rare occasion that you get to meet a former president. And I think most people could agree with me on that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care for you saying hi. Uh, but then she ends up getting forced to delete it. it. Are things turning around? She has deleted the photo of herself wearing the blasphemous outfit um, and apologized. Now, it's still available, it looks like. Let's see, can I still buy it? Yes, it is still available for $100 from praying.com. I don't think, I mean, it's just in bad taste. That's, you know, that's just what, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really think I would, uh, I would say that's cool or that obviously that wouldn't make me want to like buy it. Now, she, the photo only captured her top half. Several Instagram users were quick to label the garment as dis disrespectful and messed up in the comments. Nah, this is disrespectful to Jesus. I wonder what Christians think about Addison Ray's post. Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't care because it's just a pathetic like attempt for attention, but I do think it's funny. And I do think it's also interesting that she apologized. Like that's rare. Are things turning? Now, I don't understand what it is that this person does or adds to society. I think it's pretty, um, it's it's pretty interesting that we have quote unquote TikTok stars. I'm pretty sure she got famous being a white girl dancing to uh, you know stealing dance moves from black girls. I, I think that's what pretty much is well known about her. I do think it's interesting uh, that there's an apology that she actually made an apology. Maybe that means things are turning. Maybe maybe that means. You know, things are coming around. I don't know. Do you think, uh, I assume that it's gone now. Oh no, it's still for sale. You can see uh, on their article saying, she doesn't have one ounce of shame. How the heck would you post something like this? Even if you're not religious yourself, respect other people's beliefs. Um, you know, I guess you know how to work it. Trash it, trash. I'm outraged. So rip that off her. Huh, that's funny. You should be ashamed of yourself. Would you do this regarding Muslims? Uh, is amen on the back? Do it with Muslims and see how strong and independent you are. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I think that's a very valid point. You know, be brave. Do something related to Muslims. Uh, they wouldn't do this to that community. Whoever came up with this concept, God save you. So disrespectful. The fact that many people are supporting this is disgusting. Uh, I would say that here's somebody saying need OMG. Most of the people seem to be uh, absolutely trashing it. And I, I guess that that's, I would argue that's a good thing. I don't know who this praying company is. The whole premise of this brand is to like spiceify God and religion. Um, look, I'm not personally offended by it, but I do think it'd be interesting if they decided to try and do something like this with a different religion. I don't know. You let me know what you think in the comment section down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.